part of our cooking series on Southern foods, we're going to discuss the proper procedures for making barbecue sauces. Once you know how to make the sauce, any recipe with ingredients you like will be terrific. As was once said about good barbecue, the secret's in the sauce. At Dixie Bones, the four basic approaches we're going to discuss are reflected in our four secret sauces. The first method produces the traditional vinegar-based sauce so prominent in parts of Alabama and North Carolina. In many ways, it's the easiest. It's almost all vinegar. Add the sugar, peppers, and other spices to the cold vinegar, bring it to a boil, turn it off immediately, and let it cool. You're just trying to get the spices to release their flavor into the vinegar. You don't need to keep this sauce refrigerated, and I like it best on our pork. A second method involves sauteing vegetables like onion and garlic in butter or oil until they are translucent and the flavors are captured in the oil. Just before adding the liquid ingredients, saute the dry spices in the hot oil for a few minutes. Add the tomato products, liquids, sugar, and pepper sauces. Simmer the sauce for no more than an hour. Don't let it boil or the tomato products will burn. Drain the sauce through a strainer to remove the cooked vegetables. Keep this sauce refrigerated, but usually the acid content is high enough that it should last several months. At Dixie Bones, this is our traditional barbecue sauce that goes well with any meat. The third method is the one my mother used for her rib sauce. Simmer the vegetables and peppers in the liquids along with the sugars, spices, and pepper sauce for an hour. Add the tomato products and let that simmer for another couple of hours to blend the flavors together. Drain the sauce through a strainer to remove the spent vegetables. Keep the sauce refrigerated. Since the acid content in this type of sauce is lower than in others, it will have a shorter shelf life. The fourth method is to simply combine the various ingredients together without cooking. This is how we make our white barbecue sauce that goes so well on chicken and pork. A white sauce may seem strange to some, but it is one of the most popular in my native Alabama. Now find a recipe that sounds good to you, incorporate one of the methods we shared, and you'll have your family's own favorite barbecue sauce. Thank you for watching, and let us know what you think.